Hello, good afternoon and welcome to the channel. What a start to 2023. I got glasses here recently and I recently got fired from one of my jobs. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is John. I'm a full-time engineer and part-time creator. So I recently got fired from my job. No, not the real job where I make a living. I'm still doing that and, and I'm still really enjoying it. I got fired from one of my fun jobs. And truth be told, I'm perfectly okay with that. And I'll break that down for you here. My real job, I'm a full-time engineer for a nutraceutical company. We make vitamins. As of this last week, I have been there a year now. I've really enjoyed working there. I enjoy the work, it's fun. I enjoy the people, they're nice. I enjoy the company of what they stand for. I'm so thankful for the job and the opportunity. On the other hand, I have a job that I often talk about on this channel as well, which is a photographer and videographer. I do that as a hobby and I also really enjoy it. I have my own business where I shoot photos and videos for weddings, portraits, family portraits, and recently I have started shooting a lot more events. Let's go back and talk about this job that I got fired from. I looked this up today, about a year ago, I saw a job posting online as I was traveling for a job. The job posting was for a videographer and a video editor for a company based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Basically, the company has grown to where this person is looking for an extra videographer and editor to help her with her workload. So I sent her an email to apply. I sent her some of my work and I guess she liked it. So she and I were exchanging some emails back and forth. And over time, we kind of became friends. Part of that job is the owner would ship me a hard drive with all the video footage that her or someone else have shot. And then I would edit it and send it back to her. The other part is I would be basically an employee, but an associate where um, she would book these weddings through her company and then she would hire me to go and shoot them. So it, it was a fun job. I enjoyed it and I learned and grew a lot. More than that, the money was nice. 25% of what I made last year from my fun job was doing just that, editing videos and shooting weddings for this company. So I think my scenario is different than a lot of what people are used to. See, people in that kind of industry, that's what they do for a living. They either edit for a living or they shoot weddings. I wasn't doing that. I was doing it as a hobby for fun. So I didn't want to work all the time. And I think that's where the problem began. When I took the job though, I still remember this. When I finished my first edit, the girl was like, hey, when can I send you the next video? And I called her, I was like, hey, you know, just so you know, I want to be upfront about this. I don't want to do this all the time. I want to do it once a month. I want to take some time off. I'm not going to shoot weddings between June and October because I want to be at the lake with my family. And that's important to me. And she was fine with all of that. I don't think she was real excited because she wants somebody to work for her. Overall though, we talk often, we became friends, we exchange ideas, and that was, that was fun. That was fun, I gained a friend out of it. From the editing side, I was getting faster, I started picking up what she was looking for. I knew, um, it took me a couple of videos to learn her style, and then it got better. On the videography side, not so much. I shot one wedding for her, they really liked it, she really liked it, they loved, the clients loved the wedding, which is good, but I had another wedding scheduled with this company for this past November, October or November, somewhere in there, and I couldn't make it. Um, Caitlin was sick, Margaret was sick, and we had some medical issues. So I called a girl and I was like, hey, um, we got this problem and I just can't make it to a wedding. Uh, I was a backup shooter anyway, a second shooter, so she was, uh, she was really kind about it, she understood, and she was fine. Then I finished editing the last video for this lady in November. She wanted to send me another one. I was like, hey, I'm not gonna take him to a video. I'm gonna take the month of December off. I have two weddings of my own. I have YouTube videos I wanna make. I wanna spend some time with Caitlin. I was getting, was getting frustrated because I didn't ever have time to spend with Caitlin and she's just growing up so fast. You, you probably laugh at this because a, 
a video game drop and I really want to play video game and yes I know I'm 30 years old but but you know that's part of it I told the girl I was like hey I'm not gonna edit any more videos in December because I want to play video games with my friends and and on the surface she was fine I thought she was but then turned out she was a little upset about that that rubbed her a little wrong she told me later on she's like that really rubbed me wrong because I felt like you just want to play video games and I was like yeah this is my hobby this is my second job here is where it got worse and what really got me fired right so December came and I got an invitation for one of my cousins who's getting married in January and I have a wedding booked that day with this lady for January this cousin I work for her dad and you know we have a small family so I want to go to the wedding because I didn't go to her brother's wedding when it occurred during COVID so I waited through the holidays, I didn't feel like it was the right time to do. I didn't want to stress people out over the holidays. I went into January like second. I was like, hey, you know, I'm ready for more videos if you want to send them. I really thought the money was nice, but I wasn't, I mean, I, I felt like I didn't want to do it, but I said, I'll do it because, you know, I have a commitment. And I was like, hey, um, by the way, this wedding at the end of this month, I will do it. I'm committed to it. My word is still good, but if you could find someone to take it over, I would really appreciate it because I have a wedding to go to. My thought process through all of this was, is it really bad to ask? If I was working a full-time job for somebody, like my work right now, and I want to take off, I'd be like, hey boss, can I take off? Is it cool? If it's not, I'll still work. I'll still be here. And that's what I told a girl. I said, hey, if it's not going to work, you can't find somebody, I'll be here. But if you can, I would like to just not do it and that did not sit well she got mad and she was like oh, that's fine i'll find someone else to do it i don't trust you anymore and i was like oh okay i'm sorry about that so basically i got fired from that job <laughs> since then i have not heard from the girl um she's not giving me more work and <laughs> that's just what that is i think ultimately i mean we laugh about it and you might think i'm a terrible person but I thought about it and I was like, we have two different priorities when it comes to this job. For this girl, is her livelihood, is her career, is how she makes her money. And I fully respect that. For me, it's a fun hobby. I do it because I really enjoy it. And I really get joy out of it and the money is nice. But that's not why I do it. Ultimately though, I'm a little sad because this girl and I were friends. Um, I thought we were. Um, still hope we are and to me that hurts more that i lost a friend than anything i really wanted to stay friends um because you know not i don't have a lot of friends in this kind of hobby photography and videography where you can bounce ideas off of each other and, and, and have a good time but on the other hand over the last couple of weeks though i've really given it a lot of thoughts and i'm kind of glad um and here's here's why over over the whole Christmas break and over the last three or four weeks, today is the third week of January. So over the last three weeks and Christmas break, so I've been off for about six or seven weeks now. I I recall and I notice me telling Margaret, hey, I've really enjoyed the time to sit here and watch TV with you. Or I really enjoy getting to play with the baby on Saturday and Sunday. Um, it's nice to be able to play video games with my friends at night. It's nice to get to take naps if I want to. Um, it's just so nice. And I keep thinking of all these things that I'm getting to do. Like I built a swing for Caitlin yesterday and, and I was so proud of that. I've been playing a lot of pickleball early Saturday mornings with people from work and I've really enjoyed that. If you don't know, what I had to do before was when I get off work for my full-time job, I go home, I eat dinner, then I go in and edit video for three or four hours. Then I go to bed. And then I get up the next morning at 5.30 or 6 and I'll start doing that again. I, I did that throughout the week. I did it over lunch. I do it on Saturdays. Most of the Saturdays I did it. And Sundays I, I did it. And that's assuming I'm not driving to shoot a wedding somewhere for me or for someone else. What I realized is that has started to take a toll on me. I was getting tired and I was getting burnt out of what I really enjoyed doing. As far as this hobby goes, I did not get to do what I love doing, which is making these kind of videos, making YouTube videos. It makes no money, no money at all, other than if you were to buy something from an affiliate link, I'll make some money there. Or 
you know, twice a year, Google will send me a check for a little bit of money, but that's it. I make no money, no income from this, but this is what I really enjoy doing. Documenting our lives, making videos like this, sharing stuff with you guys, sharing our trips. That's what got me into it to begin with. And I wasn't getting to do that anymore. What I realized over the last three or four months or six months or whatever that I did not get to make YouTube videos like I wanted to is Caitlin is growing up so fast. Sometimes we make a monthly update videos and that did not happen. It's a month late, it's six weeks late. And I feel like I was missing out on my little girl's lives, documenting it for her, for me, for us, for you guys to make a little extra money. And I just, that just didn't sit right with me. To be honest, I'm a little sad about getting fired from that job because I've never been fired from a job before. Margaret has always been so supportive of everything I do. You know, if I want to buy a new tool, she, she lets me. If I want to shoot a wedding, she lets me. But when I was having these conversations with her, she was saying how glad she was that I was home, how glad she was that I was spending time with Caitlin, how glad she was that I wasn't traveling all the time. Making the extra money is nice. It sure helps us pay some bills. It's helped us do some of the things that we want to do, but it's starting to not be worth it anymore. Then I realized what happened, me getting fired from that was actually for the best. <laughs> um, I feel happier, I feel freer. I'm poorer now a little bit, but I feel like that's okay, it's worth it. Um, I get to do what I want to do, and, and you just don't know what kind of burden that is getting taken off my shoulders. For my real job, I'm still going full throttle, I'm still making money, I'm still paying the bills, so that that is important, right? I'm taking care of my family. The extra part is what's missing, and I think that's fine. What I got out of all of that was for 2023, my goal is to be successful at my full-time job. Going full throttle, deliver what I'm going to deliver, you know, earn uh, my spot at the company. But as far as this fun hobby, I'm still gonna shoot weddings because I still enjoy it. But I think I'm gonna limit the number of weddings I'm gonna shoot. So last year I shot somewhere about 14 to 16 weddings. I think I'm gonna limit that down to 10 this year and that's all I'm gonna commit to. 10 weekends out of the year. And most of them are not gonna be during the, the summer months, which is my goal. Um, I'm going to make more YouTube videos. I'm going to try and make and post at least once a week. If not, then it's twice a month or something like that. Coming out of that situation though, I think I've made the right decision and I think it happened for the best because I felt like I've really been, I have really been blessed by that. I'm booking a few more jobs that are closer to home, uh, different kind of work, but it's enabling that kind of supplementary income. So that's good. Um, I'm not losing out on all the money. I'm making more relationships through those kind of jobs, which is also oh good. Um, I get to stay home a lot more. Like this whole weekend, I was home. I got to work in the yard. I got to build Caitlin a, a swing. Tomorrow we're going to the zoo. I got to spend today playing uh, around here, going to church and spend time with the baby. Yesterday I got to play pickleball with my friends. I think getting fired from that job that I really enjoy for a while, but then I didn't enjoy anymore, was a blessing for me because it's allowing me to do what I want to do, which is the most important part about this hobby to begin with, is do what you want to do. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new here, I'm glad you're here. If you've been here before, thank you so much. Leave a comment down below if something has this has ever happened to you before, and I would love to hear about it. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye. <laughs>